Oh my god, that's so creepy. Right? So name your top five biggest fears. Honestly, one of them would definitely be working a desk job for the rest of my life. I want to be known for something, you know? Yeah, 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 I get that. This is going to sound weird, but I think one day I'm going to be known for something. I just need that one story, like something big to take my career to the next level. Really? Well, I think I might have something. I've done like every first time reporter story ever, so good luck. <laughs> You're going to want to sit back for this one. Okay. And uh, go ahead, take out your phone. You're going to want to record this. So what if I told you, you were sitting in front of a murderer? <laughs> wow, <laughs> good one. You're kidding, right? Why would I be kidding? When I was a child, everyone used to call me strange. I had a, a fascination with fears and how people died. I always wanted to know if the two could ever correlate and then one day I realized, what if I could give people their dream death? But I had my own dreams, so I decided I would give that to people by completing my own top five favorite ways to murder someone. Every murder I committed was for my list. One, a classic murder. Two, drowning. Three, strangulation. Four, poison. And five. Every time I came closer to my own self-actualization, I realized that I found myself in my killings. So, what was five? Torture. I completed my list. I found my perfect number five. I felt like the king of the world. But that only lasted for a day. We'll call it a killer's high. I listened to the news. They had no idea it was me. How crazy. If I could get away with five, why stop there? I created a wall of 50 ways to kill someone. And as of yesterday, I completed all 50. As you can see, I made you feel safe, making you feel vulnerable. You wanted a story. I gave you a story. Now it's time for you to tell my story. And what is it that you want from me? <laughs> I want you to tell the world that you look straight into the eyes of the greatest serial killer of all time. 